Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the bar chord. Not specifically any one chord. We're not going to talk about how to play a B minor or a C sharp 7 or in a bar chord or even an A flat, although we can get to that some other time. This is about the bar itself. Now let me just show you a couple of, uh, of things here. It looks like this. Those are all bar chords, and it's predicated on the fact that you are barring, B-A-R-R-E, bar, the, a, a, an entire fret, and then putting a chord shape over the top of it. All right, so far, so good? Okay, but it's the bar that, that really messes people up. When I was a kid, 14 years old, I remember watching the Beatles movie A Hard Day's Night. There was a scene where they were in the baggage car with a couple of pretty girls, but here there was these four guys sitting around making music, and, and John Lennon and George Harrison playing guitars and playing bar chords all the time. You know, bar chords all over the place, and making it look easy. Well, okay, you have to understand, easy and simple are not synonymous. Bar chords may not be easy at first, but they are ridiculously simple. And I'm going to try and show you the simplicity of the whole thing. What the, what the Beatles showed me was not how to play bar chords. They showed me that it could be done. That's important. You have to understand <clears throat> that if somebody else can play a bar chord, you can play a bar chord. It can be done. You can do it. So, here's how we approach it. The first thing you have to do is learn where to put the bar. And that the bar, and again, B-A-R-R-E, bar, is done with the first finger, exclusively. And the reason for that is that you want the maximum number of other fingers left over to put chord shapes above it. If you do this, you've wasted this finger, and there's no sense in it. So you use the first finger to bar. Okay, pretty simple so far. All right, now the way you do this is you place your finger straight and flat across whatever fret you want. That is part of the hard part. How do you get it to be straight and flat? I came up with a system. This is what I always tell my guitar students. If you've ever made a duck bill for a little kid and you go, quack, 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 okay, that's a duck bill, right? And look at the shape between your thumb and your first finger, quack. Okay, you turn that this way, you turn it this way, and you go, quack. Now, you see how parallel those, the thumb and the, and the, uh, the finger is, are? There we go. <laughs> Got to be grammatically correct, too. All right, so that is the shape that you then swing around and you put on the guitar so that your thumb is parallel with the finger, and it slides off this way, and it looks like this, so that you're ready to go, quack. Okay. It's a duck bill. So you take this duckbill position and you clamp it onto the guitar so that the tip of the first finger is just barely past the edge of the fingerboard. You don't want it overlapped like this because you lose pressure. You can't have it too far this way or you miss all the strings. You have to be covering all the strings, okay? That's one thing. And then what you do is you place it as far up into the fret as you can. The frets are the, spe the, the, the spaces in between one fret wire and the other. This is the first fret, the entire area. This is the first fret wire. So if we say we're going to bar on the second fret, what we mean is we're going to tuck this bar, this duckbill position, as close to this second fret wire as we can possibly get and still be within the second fret. You do not want to be on the lower part of the fret. You don't even want to be in the middle. You want to be here. Now, I am just, just leaning against the fret. I'm not on top of the fret because that's going to sound like that. But when I'm in the fret, just at the top of the fret, flat, straight, and pressing, I'll get a good sound. Pressing, that's another uh, cute trick. What you do is you don't squeeze the thing. This isn't a, a, a vice grip where the entire hand has to press. Because of the duck bill, 
you press between the first joint, which is called the hinge joint of the, of the finger, and the top joint of the thumb, and that's where you press. You clamp it right there. You don't press with your hand here. You don't press with your hand here. You press like that. Boom, you pinch it. And what that'll do, because you're flat and straight, it will bring the pressure down all the way across. So you, here's your duck bill. Here's your clamp. You now are pinching between the thumb and the tip of the, the tip of the thumb and the tip of the finger, and up close to the next fret wire, and six very nice, clear sounds all the way across. You will discover this doesn't take a whole lot of effort. And you don't bring your thumb up like this. You don't bring it around like this. You leave it so that it's in that duckbill position. And you notice, too, if you just close this, those two don't actually meet. This, you have to force. When you just close your hand, it actually ends up at the inside of this hinge joint. And that's good. That's, a, that's good. Because then you're, you've got a kind of a diagonal pressure, and that really helps to make it easier, easier, all right? Once you get the simple part down, then it's easy, but not until you've conquered the simple part. The simple part is getting the placement and the pressure even, and then you're free to use these fingers. A lot of times, people, uh, students will try to bar like this with their knuckle bent. That's not going to work. Or they're just squeezing so hard these fingers can't move. You have to press hard enough that you still have flexibility with these three fingers, but not hard enough to, uh, so that they, they can't move. You have to maintain, you don't want them too loose, or you'll get that. So you have this perfect bar position, right up straight and close next to the fret, and then you can take your other fingers and do that. Now, you may recognize this. That Doobie Brothers, right? Okay, that's possible because of the bar. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm placing a, a uh, what's, uh, what's known as an A minor position. I'm up on the seventh fret, in case you're wondering. I'm putting something that looks like an A minor but isn't. And then I hit it, and I pull those fingers off. I'm pulling them towards the floor and out so that I'm actually play, plucking the strings with my left hand. There it is, see? see what I mean? And that's how you, that, that's what you can accomplish. Once you get this bar position down, this is the hard part. This is the simple part. It is conquerable. You can do this. If you have any other questions, get a hold of me uh, through um, Facebook Messenger, Get on my website, send me an email. If you have any questions, I'm available, okay? So um, keep working on this, on this bar position. Make sure that you are working with the duck bill. Just close your hand and go, and bye. That's all for now. Thanks.